You ever heard that one song? It's like, he's on his way, he's about to get paid. He's on his way to Hollywood. You're on your way to Hollywood. You're on your way to your destination, your goal, your dream, whatever it is. And the enemy's trying to stop you. He's on his way, he's about to get paid. He's on his way to Hollywood. You're on your way there, you're about to get paid. You're about to see that breakthrough. You're this close. I saw this quote, it's like, we're 15 to 20% away when most people give up on their dreams and their goals. We're this close. If it takes 10 hits to break open the pinata, we give up on the eighth or the ninth hit right when we're there, when we're about to break through. If it takes five interviews for us to land our dream job and we give up on the fourth one, guys, you're so close. This is my encouragement to you. Just keep on going one more day, one more week. Just hold on, keep your faith. I promise you're so much closer than you think. And the spiritual warfare, the attacks are gonna get even harder when the blessing is about to be there, when it's about to come through. For example, in this song, he's on his way, he's about to get paid. He's on his way to Hollywood. Guys, he's about to receive his breakthrough. He's about to get to Hollywood. All he's gotta do is get there and he's gonna get paid. But what's the enemy gonna do? He's gonna make his car break down. He's gonna do this and that. He's gonna do anything he can to make sure this person does not get to Hollywood because the enemy knows as soon as he gets there, that's done. He's gonna get his breakthrough. God's gonna bless him. And guys, in your life, when you're about to hit that breakthrough, when you're about to get that blessing, I promise you, things are gonna break down. The car is gonna break down. The flight is gonna get canceled. You're gonna run out of gas, whatever it is. All the things that could happen, guys, it's gonna go wrong. All the things that could go bad, they're gonna go bad. And you th that's the time when you have to keep your faith. Keep your faith, keep tunnel vision, guys. You have to be so focused on your vision. You don't care what anyone thinks. You don't care what is going on around you. I'm getting eaten up by these mosquitoes right now. And I'm just trying to get this message out. The sky might come crashing down, but you have to have tunnel vision, guys. You got, you got to think to yourself, no matter what happens, I'm keeping faith in my plan and God's will for my life and his plans. Stand on his promises, guys. For example, for me, quick testimony. This past week, guys, so much stuff happened. I got sick. I was dealing with some stuff at work. It just it wasn't the greatest week. But I know, guys, that my breakthrough is coming. I know my blessing is coming. So I, I just kept my faith. I kept going. Even when I was sick, I still got up and I took care of myself. I went to the gym. I did these certain things. I'm doing the things that I have to do to keep it moving, to keep the, the needle pushing forward, keep the ball rolling. Guys, don't give up. In that time when it gets hard, when it gets stressful, when it gets overwhelming, that's when the blessing is coming. The enemy wants you to be in doubt. He wants you to doubt that you're gonna get to Hollywood. God wants you to believe absolutely you're gonna get there. When your car breaks down, when you run out of gas, the enemy wants you to think there's no way I'm getting to Hollywood. But that's when you have to have faith most, that someone's gonna come by and have a jerry can and fill you up and you're gonna get gas to get there. Someone's gonna fix your car. Somehow you're gonna make it. You have to stand on God's promise. You gotta, you gotta have ultimate faith, guys. In this time of trials, the enemy's gonna want you to delay. He's gonna want you to postpone the flight when it gets canceled. He doesn't want you to go to Hollywood. He wants you to delay it. No, you gotta stand on God's promises. Book that flight immediately. He, enemy wants you to delay. God wants you to be immediate, okay? The enemy wants you to doubt. There's no way I can get to Hollywood. My car just broke down. There's a way, I promise you, there's a way. He wants you to be in delusion, guys. Hollywood is so far away. There's no way I can make it. You can make it. Stand on God's promises, guys. You have to have tunnel vision right now. I probably got seven bug bites just by standing out here right now. It's so humid. I'm getting eaten up. But guess what? I'm trying to get this message out. Whatever it is going on in your life, whatever obstacles you're facing, you have to know that there is a way through. No temptation is too big that you will not find a way out. God will always provide a way out. That's the great thing. Keep your faith strong, even in the times when it's most hard. Stand on God's promises. This past week, I got sick. I was had all this stuff going on. I just kept it moving. I kept the ball rolling. I kept it going forward, guys, because I knew, I know for a fact when it gets so hard, that's when the blessing is coming. That's when you're 15% away. That's when you're one hit away. So just remember that. Rejoice, guys. Rejoice when all this bad stuff starts to happen to you. That's how you know your blessing is coming. That's how you know you're about to, 
hit a home run. So just keep that in mind, guys. People might be saying, why me? Poor me. I'm going through this and that. I don't know why God's doing this to me. Don't complain, guys, because God is working a miracle in your life. Just know that whatever obstacle you're facing in life right now, if you're down, if you're depressed, if you're facing some type of adversity, just know God has a way out for you. Keep your faith. Keep it strong. Keep on striving for Christ. I promise you, you're, you're so close. Don't give up.